Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and I'm so excited to do today's tutorial. We are finishing up Buzz and Socks. I mean, look how cute. It's 30 inches, so it's really, really big. Um, but, well, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support that I can get. But, all right, so you know, like, um, if you've been watching my videos, you know that sometimes, like, I'll plan everything out and then of course like last minute have an idea and just kind of go with it right so i was looking at this piece right here and i have oh it's right here give me just one second um part of the svg file from the salty yankee from kayla um and you can get that just by going on her website the salty yankee.com um, her socks has just, you know, this little piece right here. And we went all out for this one, right? Like we have, um, fuzziness for socks so that socks has this texture on top of the cardstock. So it feels like, <laughs> feels like what a cartoon animal would feel like. <laughs> so we did that with the pink, the orange, we mixed the colors for the flock. Um, we did all the different colors of metallic for Buzz's uniform. So he's got like this silver sheen here, which is different from this silver here, which is different from this silver and this silver. I mean, it's just, you know, we, we just kind of went all out. We also added lights, right? Like you can kind of, I know I have my, uh, where are my bottom lights? There, my bottom lights. So it's kind of like buzz to earth, buzz to earth, and then he like hits it and he lights up, right? <laughs> okay, so what I wanted to do is I didn't finish this because I just kind of felt like I didn't put it on for a reason. Then I had a little brainstorm. I wanted to do like a little bobble for his, for his um, name tag. And so this one fit perfectly. This will be in my Amazon shop, so the link will be in the description. But it's just a mini bobble. You've seen me use these a ton of times. Um, I personally have not seen the movie, but so I you know, went online, like what do we know about socks? And socks is basically Buzz's companion. He tries to make uh, Buzz, he, he's just trying to help Buzz in all ways, including how to sleep well. And so there's a, I guess there's a scene in there about a whale and I had a little whale uh, resin charm. So there's a whale inside. And I was thinking if you were doing this for a birthday party, you can easily put in the age, the name of the birthday um, boy or girl. And I just think it would be so, so cute. Just that extra little detail. Um, so what I wanna do is, I haven't quite finished my idea, but I wanna put a little hole up here because there's a little indentation right there that was for this little gal, right? So I was thinking of putting a grommet right there so that we would run ribbon through, oh, let me make sure that, okay, yeah, that's sealed. Um, that way we can run the ribbon through the back side and that way I can still, you know, move this around. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. So let me grab, I'm gonna grab my crocodile, crocodile, which if you don't have one, I have been using it quite a bit lately and I, I love it. It's this thing right here. So it's on my Amazon shop. It punches holes, it punches through everything and it also with the grommet, it really adds um, like stability to it. Like you've seen all my, um, my keychain charms. So I, I don't know, I'm loving that right now. Okay, so first I'm going to move the crocodile to the hole punch and I wanna do 3 sixteenths of an inch. So I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna stick this in and hopefully it goes all the way in. Okay, good, it does. So let me see where it goes down and I'm gonna punch it. It's kinda hard to see from this end All right, I'm gonna, who knows? Okay, I'm punching it through. Oh, it's perfect. So you see that little hole right there? All right, so now I'm gonna add a grommet, which, where did I put all my grommets? Okay, here we go. Um, I'm gonna do a blue grommet, right? Because we know that the, sorry, I didn't think about having grommets, so hold on. I just had it on my desk because I was working on them. 
And of course, right now, the only ones I can see are these, but I want thicker ones. So give me one second to track that down. Where would I put it? Mm, I just had it on my desk. <laughs> this is what happens last minute. Okay, hold on. Let me see. I feel like they were just here. Okay, if I can't find it, I will use the other grommets. But, darn it. Okay. Let me think about this. These are the light ones. Yep. I had them in this little container. Alright, hold up. I'm sorry. All right, I'm gonna use one of these. Um, and there is a pastel blue one, so I'm gonna grab that one. I'm so bummed because I just know as soon as we punch this in, I'm gonna see the other one, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna take out this blue one right here. So it's nice because like I said, it really, um, so I'm gonna punch this, put it through. And then we're gonna switch this back up to the top one, which is the, the actual grommet, the eyelets. So I'm gonna go over here and make sure we're down, and I think we are. Okay, so now that that's in, I'll show you the back side. And see, it just, um, it keeps it from ripping, so I love it. Okay, so we've got that in there. So now what I wanna do is, because we're adding texture here and like depth and height, um, I wanna add, and I figured, well, if I'm gonna recut it, I'm gonna recut it in blue glitter. We're gonna make socks a little bit extra right here. So I wanna add the collar to be sticking up because we've got height and dimension from this thing. So I want to add this up. So let's make sure that we add our foam tape. So let me grab thick ones. Um, here we go. All right, so these are, if you can believe it, half an inch foam squares. Um, I can't tell you yet where I'm getting them from because they haven't released it yet. But they are amazing. They're super sticky. And you know how like for the Dollar Tree, whenever you pull this off, you might even pull off the, the foam square itself. This one is so sticky, it doesn't do that. Um, and I believe in it so much, I'm not even gonna glue it down. Okay, so I'm adding that in there. Oh my gosh, look at the height on that. I do, oh, you can't see. But <laughs> I am, because this is a big project, it is gonna go on the uselesscrafter.com so you can get to see all the pictures there, all the tutorials and um, also all the links to the materials. So whenever you're handling um, adhesive that you're not ironing down, for instance, that's not heat related, then it's pressure related. So you wanna make sure that you're pressing down, you're making sure that all the tackiness is adhering to something else and it's sticking in every square inch as possible. So that's how it's gonna stick. And that's gonna be like, that's gonna be anything. Scotch tape, stickers, um, vinyl that you put on a tumbler, okay? Including foam squares. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down and I am gonna push on it quite a bit just to make sure. Okay, so that's down. Okay, so this is gonna go in. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. Um, I'm thinking of using this it's just um, embroidery floss. So it's kind of thick, it's not gonna fall apart. I'm just gonna cut this off and wing it, like I always do. <laughs> All right, here we go. And I wasn't even gonna do this, but I'm so excited that this came to me. So we've got a lot going on with this piece. I'm super excited about it. So I'm just gonna loop this through. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna glue it, hot glue gun it from the back side. And then the whole thing is going on a foam board. So it will stay in place, but, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna loop it through so it ties like that. And then we're gonna loop this through the little hole. Oh my gosh, I'm, it's brilliant. <laughs> well, 
whatever we can do to make it extra, right? Okay, so um, I'm just going to loop this through. Oop. Because I want it to be secure. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. And look, I can still lift it. So that right there is perfect. So how am I gonna do this? All right, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add tape to the back so that it stays in place and then I'll flip it over and then we'll glue it into place. So, well, it would help if I didn't tape it to the thing. Okay, I think right there is perfect. So I think that's perfect. I'm gonna flip it over and we kind of know where it is, right? So I'm gonna glue down and just make sure. Okay, so I'm pretty much gonna glue down this whole piece right here. I'm gonna keep the tape there. And so I'm just adding glue to the top, glue to the bottom, keep the tape there. I'm gonna make sure that the tape doesn't go anywhere. I'm gonna tape it this way. I know, I'm just, you know, cause once it's on the foam board, I mean on the foam board, it'll be even more secure, but I just, just wanna make sure. <laughs> okay, while that's gluing, before we flip it over, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, okay. Um, what you're gonna need right now is we're gonna cut the foam board. So um, let's get out a white pencil, which I have right here. We're gonna trace basically the outline of our um, character onto the blackboard, onto the foam blackboard, and then we'll cut it. We're gonna cut inside the line so we won't we won't see the white um, the white pen pencil mark at all. Um, and I'm super excited. The link for this is also will be in the description, but I got my Excel blade back. If you remember, I started using this and then I lost the cap. I dropped the thing so my blade got messed up and I went back to my old um, blade, but this is gonna cut so well. Wait, I can't wait to show you. And while we're talking about it. They are one of my sponsors for my workshop. So if you're in the Los Angeles area, July 16th and 17th, you gotta check out our workshop. You get to do one of these characters, you, not me, you. Um, you're gonna use all those tools, including your own Excel blade that you're gonna take home with you. Um, and you get to experience all of my favorite materials. We are gonna be using Ground Up Creations glitter cardstock. We're gonna be using um, Barely Art glue, Surebonder glue, all the glues that I use, um, all the materials, those are all our sponsors. So that means you get to use them as well and you get to take home a lot of things too. And lots of prizes, okay. Um, I put on a big old glob of glue right there so I'm almost wondering to flip it over. I'm just gonna put down, I'm just gonna cover it up so that we can continue on. Okay. I'm gonna flip it over. And hello, so stinking cute. Okay, we've got all our pieces, right? Okay, um, let's put down our foam board underneath. And this is a big character. It's 30 inches by 30 inches pretty much. So our board is 20 by 30. So I'm almost wondering if we do this and then you see how the top's not supported? We're gonna have to cut off, maybe use the excess from the bottom down here. And I realized the camera just went out of focus. So, um, let me see if I put this down, if it will refocus. Oh, 
And if it doesn't, give me a second. I'm just going to turn it off. And I'll turn it back on so that it will refocus. Assuming it turns back on. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, thank goodness. All right, let me move this in a little bit. Oops, not that one. It's so messy because there's it's so big. Okay, so you see how down here there's going to be excess? We can use that piece and kind of like build a little piece right there. So let's do that. Um, so I have it pretty much at the bottom right here like this. So let's grab our... I'm just going to take my white pencil and trace it. And it's going to be okay that it's not all on the foam board. It will still be supported because we've got the majority of it, more than the majority of it. <laughs> pretty much almost all of it except for the few pieces. Um, it's pretty covered. Okay. So we traced it all. I'm going to remove this. Okay. All right, so let's cut our foam board. So here's my beautiful pink blade. All right inside the lines, okay? And you'll see how smooth and quickly I can cut it, right? Because I get that question a lot, like um, people will send me pictures of their foam board and it's just not a smooth cut, so. Oh no, and that part, that's from before. And that's okay if that's not on there. Let's flip this over and see what happened here. It just got bent. So I'm gonna cut it off, because it's fine. We don't need it. So you see how like it's, it's not jagged. So it's a nice cut, okay. Let's do this one, and what else I like to do is, I like to do it in one continuous cut. So this um, right here is gonna be one cut. See, it's so nice, right? Uh, so nice and smooth, okay. So we've got our bottom. What we can do is we can put it back on and then we'll flip it over and kind of attach a piece to support his head. So let me bring this back. Okay, so it's all on there, let me turn it over so you can see what that looks like. So it's gonna be like this, right? So good, right? And then we just need to add a little bit of a rectangular piece right here to support his head. So I'm gonna flip this back over. And let's start adding 
So this is gonna be difficult. I think we're gonna go from, let's go from, let's see. Let's lift this up and go from one end to the other end, okay? So, take my glue gun. And I kinda wanna go in a straight line because I wanna be able to put this down And then this way, I'm gonna flip it over to this side, okay? Lift, I can't get over that. Lift this up and start adding glue down and laying it down so that the glue doesn't dry out before we get to it. So I hope you can see, yeah. So you see, I'm just adding line by line and then letting it come down. Add another glue stick and then put a little bit more glue here and then I think we're good. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I'm not holding the head. It's pretty, it's it's wobbly, right? But, because it's completely un, um, but here are my hands. Where's my, where's my other hand? Oh, there it is. So you can see it's, nothing's holding it up. Okay. Oh my gosh, love it. All right, let's flip this over and see what we can do here. We can add, We can add this piece because it's kind of nice and straight right here and then we can just cut this off so this will keep him really supported all right so we're just going to add glue right here not completely flat because of socks's thing <laughs> so um let's see that's too high I want to just add a little bit of there a little bit of support right there that's still too high and then I want to add glue right here Now this is going in my art room, so I know it's going to be relatively safe, but whenever you're adding a piece like this, what I would do is I would then take something like this and put it this way so that it doesn't accidentally bend. Um, I would probably use even a wooden dowel um, 
and do a few sticks here. And then if you wanted to, then you can cover the whole back side with another piece of foam if you wanted to. But if you knew no one was gonna see it, then no big deal, right? Um, so this is still drying, but now let's lift this up. Not wobbly, right? And it will stand like this. Oh my gosh, look at it. So stinking cute. Um, all right, let me put this. Okay, we can't put it down the other way yet because it's still drying. But I hope this was helpful. I hope it like um, kind of gives you an idea of like how my mind works and like how you can just keep adding things. Even though you've already designed it, we can, you know, punch a hole with our crop dial. We can, you know, you know, add a shaker even though we weren't expecting to. So um, anyway, comments, questions, let me know. Let me know what you want to see, all of that stuff. All right. Thanks, guys.